Long-awaited biopic profiling the life and legacy of Elvis Presley has finally arrived, and I had the chance to sit down with actor Austin Butler, who plays Elvis, and his co-star Olivia de Young, who plays Priscilla. Let's take a look. And I'll start with you. Yeah. Is it true that Denzel Washington, like, literally picked up the phone and was like, you gotta see this guy? Yeah, apparently. I, I, yeah. I, uh, I, Denzel didn't call me beforehand or, or after, but he, he did call Baz. I thought that was so, so kind. I, I still, uh, you, you know, it's that thing, Denzel's my hero. I'm still shocked he even knows my name. So the fact that he would call Baz, it, it's so sweet. What was that process like, the auditioning process? Uh, well, I, it was a long process. It, was, I, it, was, it didn't feel like any sort of audition. Usually with an audition, mm. you kind of, you have scenes, you go in and you present this thing. And uh, with this, it was, I had heard Baz is making the movie. I sent him a tape of me singing. Uh, and then I flew to New York and I met with him and we spoke for about three hours. And, uh, and then he said, you want to come in tomorrow and just read a couple scenes? And, and so I came in, and so we just read the script together. What were you feeling when, when he asked you that? Excitement yeah. and, and fear and, you know, um, curiosity and a lot of things. And, and then he said, uh, you want to come in the next day and sing some songs? And so he, we ended up doing that for five months. I was thinking about you because Priscilla Presley, she can see your performance. Mm -hmm. um, there was that, I'm assuming, in the back of your head somewhere. Oh, yeah. And then you got to meet her at Cannes. Yes. Right, for the first yes, time? Yes, yes, What was that experience like? What'd she say to you? I mean, you know, I was tormented with the idea of this beautiful woman sort of seeing this film and seeing my uh, interpretation of it. And you just, you know, always grappling with whether you've illuminated something real in them and if, if she was going to see something that resonated. And, you know, I got to sit next to her, which was a huge honor. And, you know, by the end of it, we were you know, holding hands and crying, and it was very, very special. Cool. It was really, really special, and, you know, to have her support on yeah. this whole um, promotional tour has been really beautiful. It's really nice to see that, the support from the family, from, you know, Lisa Marie and mm. the grandchildren as well. And I understand, well, I saw the video, you at Graceland, playing Elvis's guitar. Like, how many people have played this guitar? I think Sir Paul McCartney, yeah. Elvis, a couple other people, and yeah. you. Whoa, right? Was yeah. that an out-of-body experience? Completely. <laughs> yeah. There, there are certain moments in this entire process that I can, I can hardly wrap my mind around, and that is one of them, because the amount of time that I've spent just watching, I mean, you saw, I would just watch footage for hours and hours and hours and hours. How many times and, did we watch The Searcher? Oh, my God. <laughs> the, so what goes with that is the amount of times you see this specific guitar in his hands. And what I, this is a bit, I thought I knew everything. But what I didn't know was that is the same guitar he played in the, it's the same 56 Gibson. So it's the guitar that you see in 70, you know, and that's the way it is. And he plays it through the Vegas years and on tour and different things. But uh, I never realized it's the same guitar he plays in Jailhouse Rock. Whoa. And King Creole and Loving You. And so that blew my mind to, to I went back looking at, at the pictures and just thinking, he had that guitar through his entire career. Well, I'll tell you guys, where I was sitting watching this film, it certainly felt like the real thing. You guys were unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, you may go to college. You may go to school. You may have a pink Cadillac, but don't you make nobody's room, man. Baby, come back, baby, come. Come back, baby, come. Come back, baby, I want to play Halloween. Well, listen in the you, baby, what I'm talking about. Come on back to me, little girl, so we can play some house. Laughing because those women in the audience, that was me watching this film, by the way. Elvis premieres in theaters across Canada today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.